Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. And today we're gonna to be doing a standard event here with the uh, PT Thunder, um, I guess it was uh, either first or second place, I guess second place list. Um, and gonna take that through a standard event, just see how it does. So let's jump in. But uh, first of all, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend of yours. And for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back and supporting my channel. It really does mean the world to me. In addition, there's going to be a deck list both in the description on moxfield.com and also on tap.gg. And then I'll also have links to all of my other playlists where I do draft videos, collaborative drafts, um, my road to rank one in best of one standard, uh, both last month and this month, and then standard events. So if you like any of those, check those out. I do wanna give a shout out here to my members. So thank you so much for being a member here on my channel and it really is a great way to help support me. It's also a nice way to get early access to my content. And I do have member levels starting as low as $1.99 a month. So if you are considering it, it's a great way to help support me and my channel. Um, here is exactly how you do that. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, so let's jump in. Um, I had a look at the list a little bit and played just a couple of games here. I'm not typically a control player, but I do definitely respect the power of this deck. Um, one of the big changes with Azorius Control um, from PT Thunder is the addition of three steps ahead. So you're gonna getting, basically getting four extra counter spells main deck with other ways to find cards. This is just a really strong card in a um, counter spell based deck. And then also two copies of Phantom, Phantom Interference. And so we basically have a 10 total counter spells here between a full play set of No More Lies, three steps ahead, and Phantom Inter Interference. For card draw, we've got the full play set of Memory Deluge, which has always just been absolutely amazing. Three copies of Deduce. And then again, you're able to use some additional card draw off three steps ahead. For removal, we have one copy of Get Lost, which can deal with pesky enchantments or planeswalkers or creatures. Um, four copies of March of Otherworldly Light, which is mostly there to be able to um, deal with Boros Convoke. Um, when they have like the super early start, you can target their uh, blood token to get rid of that in response to a Gleeful Demolition, and also just sort of a catch-all to deal with a lot of different threats. Three copies of Sunfall to wipe the board, <clears throat> and then only two copies of Temporary Lockdown. So I think it's leaning a lot more on counter spells to kind of get this done. Um, actually, they also run one copy of Make Disappear, so we have 11 total counter spells. And I think that Part of the reason this is so powerful is a lot of decks have kind of moved away from um, tribal focused decks that, that are using Cavern of Souls, and so counter spells are a lot better right now. So we'll see. Um, we do also have a full playset of Wandering Emperors, kind of the win condition, um, along with a playset of Restless Anchorages and a couple Murexes to kind of help make some, uh, some creatures or, or get through with man land damage. Um, for the land count, we've got 28 lands, so planning to play a land every turn. I do like the inclusion of Sunken Citadel, is this is nice at kind of powering out the, the Murex tokens and helping out with uh, Restless Anchorage for a little bit cheaper. Um, and then you've got kind of a mix here. You have one Demolition Field and three Fields of Ruin. I'm not sure why exactly there's the mix up there, maybe just to kind of, you know, play a little better against something like um what's the what's the five mana black wrath that can um exile cards from library 
deadly cover-up. I think that's the one. Yeah. So that's probably why there's, you're seeing the split there. But uh, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm excited. Um, we're not going to be using the sideboard today. We're just going to be doing a best of one event. I do want to see if it's good in best of one. But you've got the full sideboard here if you want to check it out. All right. Let's jump in. Also very excited about the arena open tomorrow. I will try to be casting, um, hopefully the um, sealed attempts here. Might be able to do you know one or two, I guess we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I've been loving draft and it's been a lot of fun. All right. Ready for round one. Just, um, yeah, full disclosure, I'm probably not going to play this as well. It's a typical control player. Not super familiar with a ton of the cards. So, you know, we'll do okay. But it'll be a good time, hopefully. Um, yeah, hand seems fine. We've got three land. Some interaction here. Counter spells. <laughs> I'm usually sitting on the other side of the table here with either mono red or mono white, so we'll see how this goes. Um, let's see, we want... Let's start with Sunken Citadel, probably naming white so we can get double white for Emperor. Between that and the desert, Deserted Beach. I think most mono red decks are running the Slick Shot... Um, whatever it's called, the, the one-two flyer that pumps up for spells. And so just being kind of cognizant of that will be helpful. Don't see Mishra's research desk too often. So this must be like a some sort of different build. I guess it's is it. So yeah, quite a bit different. got the research desk and then disruption protocol all right we'll just sit here and try to get ready for some wandering emperor nonsense So they've got this disruption protocol to the end of their next, or to the end of this turn, but they don't have the mana for it. <coughs> All right, let's just draw some cards and kind of keep moving along here. Now we've got Phantom Interference where we could potentially make a Flyer or a Wandering Emperor, so we'll just sit. Oh, you know what? We're gonna, we've got a discard down to hand size. Didn't even realize we had an extra card there. Um, That's awkward. Hmm, I guess we can lose one of these lands here. So they probably try to counter what we do here. I guess we could um, deduce and see if they want to bite. Otherwise, we could fire off an Emperor. We've already got two more, so I don't mind having this countered.
All right, let's uh, guess just get in for two here, leaving up counter mana. So now we can do the full three steps ahead with five mana. I guess not the full thing, but uh, most of it. We can draw and also counter a spell. Research desk. I don't know that we care about this. They just keep kind of doing this nonsense, and I think it's okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to care about the research desk. I just don't seem to. I guess we can, uh, let's see, what can, what can we do here? I don't want a memory to deluge because we are we can get just get countered. Um, we could just, I guess just deduce here is probably fine or we can get another Wandering Emperor going. I think they're definitely holding up counter mana here. Um, I guess we have two Emperors, so maybe that's all right. I want to hit land drop, so I think I'm just going to deduce here. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit a land. There we go. Not the most exciting lands, but there's something. And again, we're kind of in no rush here, so we're just happy to keep pushing in for two. Such a different playstyle than what I'm used to. I think if they want to deduce here, I also don't especially care. Um, should we go for go for like a token? Maybe just an emperor. They could counter the the wandering emperor. Eh, we've got two copies though. I'm not super worried about it. They counter it. So be it. I'm also kind of tempted to do a plus one plus one to get this out of like um, like voltage surge range. So I'll try the plus one here. And if they kill the token, fine. No big deal. See, now that we have six mana, I guess I want to keep the Ganjo here, so I'll just play out the Seacrum Coast. I suppose I could have held it for like three steps ahead, but I think this is fine. And then I think I probably do want to go up to five here, just to, again, play around like the Voltage Surge. care about deduce I don't think we care like um, if they want to draw a card here that's fine I'm 
now we can actually memory deluge since they're tapped out and then we can still hold up phantom interference i guess it depends on like if they have six mana what can they do nothing that i'm like super afraid of so i think i just memory deluge in response hmm kind of like otawara just to like save our wandering emperor in case we need to i don't expect that we're gonna need lockdown but you never know i guess we'll just take this in march still holding up phantom interference here so if it's like a big crazy huge spell we can still counter it okay well maybe it would have been good to get the uh um whatever called the the lockdown that might have been better all right so we'll let this resolve can always march it voltage surge um do we want to fight over that hmm okay i guess we let that happen Do we care about another voltage surge? I think we let this happen also. So now we could, uh, I guess, like march the token since Wandering Emperor is going to be pretty weak. We'll need to deal with that. Or we could just wait and march the Iconoclast on our turn. Yeah, I think let's um, let's wait till, till our turn here. Okay, so I think we want to march the Iconoclast. So we could counter this Voltage Surge, or we could just Odawara our own um, Wandering Emperor, which might be a little bit safer. Because they're going to have two 1-1s one -ones anyway, so I think I might just save it that way, honestly. If we do that, we will, we will be kind of shields down, though. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have played an untapped land here. Maybe we just let this happen. I think we just let this happen. Yes, 
And now let's just sit. That is going to be something we do not want to allow. <sighs> they probably have a counterspell back up here. I think we got to try for it. So we could three steps ahead to do a hard counter here. Problem is if they have the backup counter, it's sort of awkward, but then we can march it. So I think let's try to hard counter here. Sahili, what does Sahili do? Let's cry one. Okay. The multiverse is a paradise of inspiration. I will not let it fall. Look how my art hums with life. Okay, so now we can march the token and just kill the Sahili with our um, anchorage. So I think that's fine. Do we want to play the Aganjo out? I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I think we can play out the Aganjo. We just want to have more mana available. And I think the Otawara is slightly more important to keep around. Do we want to have access? Yeah, let's have access to six mana. This feels pretty good. So now we can both have Wandering Emperor and hold up a, a small counter spell. Iconoclast. Okay. Can't really do anything about that. So Fairy, on the other hand, we absolutely can counter. So we can counter that and also make a 2-2 flyer, which I like. And that kind of holds back their team pretty well right now. Okay, another memory deluge is nice. It's not really safe to put out Emperor yet. We could deluge here and try to find some more action. I kind of like that. Since they're tapped out, let's go for it. Okay, get lost is nice. I'll take that. And probably another anchorage. I suppose we could get Murex too, though. Do we want to diversify here or do we want to go for anchorage? I think I want to go for anchorage instead. I think we just kill this now. This does leave us kind of open a little bit, but let's see, we can use this Citadel to power up our Anchorage. I think that's okay then. Let's just get the Anchorage down. Light 
completed. What does this thing do? Okay. Seven or more counters. Got it. It doesn't really do anything right now. That works. Oof. Three steps ahead is a nice one on top. Surprised I didn't push for two two twos. That would have been better. I'll bite. We can Odawara the token if we need to. Since we know that a hard counter is coming, I kind of want to just like um, get memory deluge here. <sighs> what do we want to do? I kind of want to get Wandering, Wandering Emperor going. Um, then we can just Odawara the token. Yeah, I think it's like time to start entering beatdown phase. All right, so now it's gonna cost three to get the token. So we just gotta save these three and that'll be fine. Oh, you know what? We should have uh, on our turn used the Odawara because now they can make a copy of this stupid thing with the um, with the uh, three steps ahead. Although if they do it main phase, I'll begin to do this in response, and it's kind of funny. Hang on a second. Oh, you know what? Oh, never mind. I thought we only needed three mana because of Wandering Emperor. Legendary creature. Oof. Okay. Decent misplay here. Oh well. That we can counter. And I think if they all in and try to kill this Wandering Emperor, we just let it die and then make some flyers next turn and kill them. <sighs> Do we block? Yeah, we probably block here. That's fine. Three steps ahead of our own. Okay. So can we kill them? I guess let's find out. Two, four, three more gets us to six. I think we just have it, right? Yeah, don't even need the Odawara. Nice. So yeah, misplay on that, uh, not holding up four mana for the Odawara, but I thought that it was just any legend that reduced the cost, but I guess it has to be a legendary creature. One and oh. Opening hand looks great. 
yeah, we've got uh, th three lands, stuff to do. Boros Convoke. How is this going to go? I think we have to hold up um, March here. So just to respect that, we'll play the Yaganjo. As much as I would love to play Restless Anchorage here, I think we have to respect it. Okay. Do we want to march the Warden? I don't think so. I think we let this happen. Basically, it's just checking to make sure they don't have Gleeful Demolition. Now, unfortunately, we are kind of shields down for a turn. But we've still got March in case we really need it. Imidane's interesting. Um, in hindsight, I probably should have marched the Warden so they couldn't go for a Night Errant. Luckily, they didn't have it, but I think that was a potential misplay. Um, do we march here? Yeah, I think so. I think it's worth marching, getting rid of a No More Lies, just to kind of keep our, our life total high. got a hard counter got a couple counters so we'll take a little bit of damage here but I think yeah getting rid of that warden is super important could counter this warden also I think yeah we counter here because now they can't go for night errant so we just keep them off of it wait no never mind it's uncounterable I forgot the stupid cavern of souls um Yep, so that's happening. Could just try to dig just to try to find um, board wipe here. Says we can't counter their stuff, we might as well. Um, yeah, let's just do that. I guess No More Lies doesn't really do much right now, so that's probably the weakest card. I think just being able to play land every turn is super important. We could march their warden. It's kind of nice if we can get them to, to um, tap their guys to pump it up in hopes that it's going to do something. We could also Wandering Emperor now, but that seems kind of bad. I think we just sit. Definitely going to need to find action here pretty soon, though. If they just want to attack with Warden, I think we just take it and just see what they do. They're playing, like, super careful here. Oh, I guess they're going for Knight Errant. Yeah, this is awkward. OK, 
get a pair of wardens. Guess let's try to buy some time here. We just want to get as many creatures here as possible. We could also go for like a 3-3, but that doesn't seem especially good. I guess it lives through their, their recruiter, but sort of so what. We want them to waste time trying to kill this emperor, just to give ourselves time to draw a board wipe. Case is good. Yep, that works. Okay, they're going to straight face. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. Um, okay, so the play here, I think we do Wandering Emperor plus block here, kill the Warden. We take six, go to five. Could also double block the Knight Errant and go to seven. Then we don't have any creatures left. I hope you're ready to lose. Strike fast and strike hard. Yeah, we really, really need board wipe off the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to find it. So much for that. Now it's just kind of damage control, so I guess we make another token here. Keep watch for intruders. If they have anything, we're probably just dead. I mean, if they want to waste their time on Night Errants, it's actually kind of funny. Like, I'm super happy that they went for that. Okay, I don't know why they would do that main phase, but sure. Okay, so I think we search, try to get there with the clue token. 
Um, I guess we'll wait to see if they attack, but... We could activate Anchorage and double block here. But I kind of want to get the clue token. So let's just see if we can find something. Okay, make disappear is not going to do it. We can chump. I'd rather chump than double block here. did not get there. Yeah, I think we're massively dead at this point. I um, guess we'll see what they do, but if we exile, we go to seven. It's kind of not that different than just making a creature, though. Let your slaves do the talking. Yeah, if they all in though, I think we're just dead. Okay, so if we march the case and make a blocker, see, we can make a blocker for four plus march the case. Could also get anchorage and then do it after blockers. Have an extra three mana, which is enough to get the we can't do more than that, though, I think. Okay, I think we're still just dead here, but... Block, block. This will be an X2. And then we're taking one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're still dead. Oh well, we tried. See, I think this is... Yep, they had exact. Oh well, one and one. We needed a board wipe. And I guess they only have five board wipes main deck, so that, that might be part of the issue. All right, let's jump into the next game here. So it's really interesting to see kind of like what this deck is like from this side of the table. I've spent many, many years as the aggressive or aggro deck uh, playing against control, and so playing as the control deck is it's kind of eye-opening it's kind of interesting in some ways like trying to see like what their lines are and uh well i think I, I i definitely like aggro a lot more than control it's at least good to try it out once uh this opening hand looks good like we've got early interaction we have wandering emperor a little bit of card draw Okay, it could be Golgari here. Uh, let's lead out here with Anchorage, get that going. Then we can hold up Phantom Interference and have like Deduce ready. Okay, this is definitely a different deck. Do we care about Vran? I don't think we really care about Vran super 
much right now. We can deal with it with Wandering Emperor later. I kind of want to draw some cards here, so... I think this is okay for now. We've also got March in case it's uh, does some sort of weird nonsense. Burrowing Razor Maw. Yeah, I guess we could counter that. Prevents a little bit of damage, so... I think I'll just Phantom Interference here. I guess we can get more value out of this later. But I kind of like the... The No More Lives to prevent something else, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just counter it with this one. Just kind of preserve our life total a little bit. We could march here, but I just don't think we have to yet. Um, we could also just like use Wandering Emperor right now just to get rid of this Vran. But again, I don't think we're in any, any kind of rush. Plus we have Restless Anchorage, which we could theoretically just use to block. We're okay with that. It's a pretty easy march target in case it gets big. Fester Leech. Yeah, I think that's fine also. Now I kind of want to dig for a sweeper. We could also just march the brand here, but I kind of want to draw cards, so I think I'm just going to take the two. We could get Wandering Emperor going, I suppose. Um, I think I'd rather just draw cards, though. Unfortunately, we didn't really hit anything. So now I suppose we can march if we need to. Conduit Worlds. Yeah, that doesn't seem like something we want to allow.
get rid of the Fester Leech here and just take three instead. Fran is kind of annoying, but I think we'll just get rid of the Fester Leech just to preserve our life total a little bit. Okay, now we could definitely use a little bit of action. <laughs> well, I guess yeah, we'll just keep waiting around. So what does this cavernous mod take to activate? Okay, they need more caves, got it. This is like the caves deck, I suppose. Natural growth. Ooh, it's pretty nasty. Um, we could try to fish for a counter. Otherwise, we're taking six here. Guess if we hit the counter off the top, we could counter it. Otherwise, we could just like march their Vran. I think I'm just gonna let, let this resolve and march the Vran. Maybe that's crazy. Oh, I suppose they've got this cavernous maw now. I guess in light of that, maybe we should just use Wandering Emperor this turn. Okay, what? <laughs> that's so funny. The No More Lives was on top. So we would have drawn into it. Uh, that's okay. Okay, so we've got March plus Anchorage here. I guess we could activate Anchorage, buff it up, and then just activate it again. But then we do potentially lose our Wandering Emperor. So I think Wandering Emperor just buffs nothing and then we just kind of hold everything up here But now the nice thing is we can march the uh, Cavernous Maw. So we'll allow that to happen. And then if they double send at Wandering Emperor, we could just eat their 2-2 and then march the 6-6. Six, six.
And that'll work. Ooh, that's a nice one. So we could consider starting to get in with our Restless Anchorage. I mean, I guess they've got... Yeah, they have no way to attack us right now. They could discover into something. But I think that's fine. Um, start making some 2 twos. Yeah, I kind of like this. Guess I'll just make a 2 2 here. Gods, to me. And then we'll just hold up for a memory deluge. counter that uh it's a 4-2 i mean like it can just like die to samurai i suppose they have captivating cave they can make it a little bit better i don't think we care honestly probably field of ruin here And then we could just march that if we need to. I have got no news to speak to. Okay, so we've got to hold up a little bit of mana, but not too much. That's a nice one. Keep on top. Do they realize it has first strike is the question. I guess not. Or they just want to self mill. Azalith, huh? Uh, yeah, it's fine. They must have like another discover here. Oh yeah, they can just use hidden nursery this turn, I guess. Oh, they don't have enough mana. I guess we should just get the Hidden Nursery then. We could draw a card also. 
I think let's just get Hidden Nursery while they're tapped out. We could also march the Azalith, but I don't think we particularly care. Oof. Pawn is deep in the tank. Okay. Yeah, let's just get the hidden nursery. Unfortunately, this way we don't get three steps ahead, but I think that, you know, we've got enough stuff going on. And that's a nice draw, honestly. I think now we want to start buffing up our land in the in, in case we have to sunfall. Suppose we can make more T2s also. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna pump up the Restless Anchorage here, actually. We've still got a decent clock here, so not super worried. And then we have four, six mana up. Okay, so but since we don't have enough mana for Deluge, I think let's go ahead and try to add another counter. And there's another three steps ahead. Okay, that works. So now we can just draw a card if we need to to have access to it. In case they have like a, like a must counter threat. This is annoying, but we can use March on that, so I don't particularly care. Let's just march the Glissa. And now that we've got a hard counter, I feel pretty, pretty good. It's so funny, like with aggro decks, you have to like fight for every single inch. And with control decks, it's like, eh, if you miss by a point or two or a couple points, it doesn't even really matter. You've got counters up and you're totally fine. All right, so we've got three, we have seven mana up. So maybe we wait for the deluge here since we've got lethal next turn anyways. And I guess if they hold a card, we probably just keep the mana up and since we've got assured lethal next turn. Murder, yeah, that one doesn't matter, that's fine. And that's gonna do it.
Let's deluge because we can. Restless Anchorage is a pretty nasty threat. Hard to deal with. Dodges sweepers. All right, now we are two and one. I will say, like, the glacial pace of the games, though, is definitely a, sh a shift. <laughs> it's something I'm not quite as used to. Okay, they've got the show off plan, that works. That is a nice play by them. That's a nice pickup for us. Do we wanna have access to a third mana? Yeah, I guess we do here, cause like we could counter and also march, which I think might be important. Like Anchorage is good to get down for like memory deluge, but I feel like we might have to march and also counter here. So I think I'm just gonna play the Otowara. Actually, yeah, that works because we've got make disappear. that resolve because we plan to march it. Gain splitter. Yeah, that's playing around. I guess we could no more lies here, but I'd rather just honestly march. So I think we let this resolve. Bainsplit is a really good threat against us, that was the problem. If they put it on the Kumano, that's also super annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like maybe we take some damage here and we allow it. Yeah, they put on the Kumano, that makes sense. We kind of want to dig also. Actually, now I think I'm just gonna get rid of the show off and pay full price. Like we could have pitched the No More Lies, and this does let them get another spell in, but since they've already attacked, I'm less worried about it.
Unfortunately, we're going to drop to eight here, but we can hopefully use Wandering Emperor on the following turn to try to climb back into this. Can't let that happen. Could exile now. We can also just create a 2 2 to block it. So I think we just sit. We could no moralize that, and then then we're taking another four though, which doesn't feel great. So maybe we just let that happen. Problem is if we go for Emperor, like we can't just make a 2-2 and block because they can play another spell. Um, like if they have Monstrous Rage, it's super awkward. So we might have to use the minus two for the life. Yeah, I feel like we we need to wait for Emperor here. Question is how much pump do they have? Fair amount. I don't think they can kill us. They can get close. Alright, so now I think we need to try to gain life back off Emperor, so we want to go up. Um, gotta hold up counters, potentially block with Restless Anchorage. If we counter there, then we can't block, which sucks. Um, we might have to let that happen. Yeah, I think unfortunately we've got to let that happen. They have another spell, we're dead. Nothing yet. That's good. They're at least letting us block. Ah, that's too bad. We can counter the spell, but the trigger still gives this thing three powers, which is enough to put an end to us. So, tough beats.
Yeah, and I'm sure like I, I might have been playing this a little bit wrong or but uh, try to take my best swing at it here. Two and two. All right, opening hand looks good. We've got counters, a little bit of removal. Okay, another mono red deck. So I wonder if it's right to march this thing on turn one and just like take the card disadvantage. I feel like we, we can't really afford to do that though. I think maybe we do hold up March depending on like if they have like Slick Shed on two, we could March right away. Could also March it later, but we've got, yeah, all these Restless Anchorages. We might just want to get those things down. Yeah, I guess we could March it later. So let's just Restless Anchorage here. Take a little bit of damage here. Now I think we just hold March for Scamp. Do we care about another Scamp? I don't think so. I think we just want to march this 2-2. Could pass priority here, but I think they just sit. So I think let's just march. They probably have the rage for another creature. Sure. Lockdown feels really good. <laughs> This thing is a nightmare to play against. And uh, yeah, this is just such a beating. Now I think we just hold up Anchorage to block it. Um, we could also use like Interference, depending on what they do. Could make a token if they do nothing. Um, yeah, we want to counter that for sure. We could no more lives and try to like save to wait till we have like five mana for the phantom interference. I can see doing that. Okay, so they're just prepping another one, that's fine. We could make a 2-2 flyer here, but then we don't have counters. Um, I guess let's just make a Murex token. Hmm. Yeah, actually maybe it's okay to just make the flyer.
Now we've got Memory Deluge. We can use this to potentially bait out some more stuff on the board. Okay, now we want to wipe the board before they get their value back. They don't have enough mana to flip this yet as a code breaker. Actually, let's just deluge right now. This feels pretty good. Let's go pick up some more action. Yeah. Do we just sunfall here? I mean, they'd be ready with another slick shot show off, so I feel like we don't really need to yet. They also, even if they draw a land, they don't have enough to flip this up yet, so we can wait another turn probably. I think we just sit for another turn. Okay, now they've committed, I'm definitely gonna wipe the board. I guess we could have countered that, but if we're planning to Sunfall, don't think we need to. Do we want to make a copy and block both? We could also do that. We could draw two and then make a copy for six mana. Probably don't die if they do that. If they have like the twin strike thing plus like a monstrous rage though, I mean that, that might get them there. So it is a little bit dicey to do that. Maybe we just put like a restless anchorage in front of it and see what they do. This is I think a little bit safer. We've still got no more lives here. Okay, so we can counter that. And there's still a mana away from, or two mana away from flipping this thing, so I'm not worried about. I guess if they play like play with fire end of turn and then draw land, they could potentially flip. So we could just sunfall now. We have a backup Sunfall, so it's not like the end of the world. Could also just like Memory Deluge again. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Sunfall here though. I just don't want them to get value. Ooh, Case is nasty and I can't counter it. Okay, that's really good. That's super good for them. Gonna have to go on the offensive now. I guess we'll try to like make a 2-2 two -two and then potentially start getting aggressive that way. That was a really good play for them though. I mean, they draw an extra card, but like it's harder for them to, to get their case going. So I might actually be okay with letting that resolve. I don't think we particularly care. I guess we can make a 2-2 in the process if we counter this, so. Maybe we just counter it. Oh, 
Okay, and they just threw in the towel. That works. I definitely feel like they, like, had a chance to come back there, though. Like, they drawn all the cards. Definitely seems like a good move. All right, three and two. Yeah, opening hand looks great. Got a lot of stuff to do. Removal. I guess because we don't know what other colors we have yet, let's do Anchorage first. Okay, now we can go Citadel for white. Could start getting in, although cut down is pretty good and we don't want to lose our land, so I think we just sit. Magda Horde Master. Sure. I think we just march that. Seems like a good march target. Now we could just Wandering Emperor. I guess we can get that going. We could also start beating in with Anchorage. <laughs> okay, I guess that's good enough. That'll work. Four and two. Yeah, opening hand looks great. Ooh, Esper Legends. Haven't seen this deck in a while. Could also just be like the Demure deck that like uses Reenact the Crime. Do we want to Anchorage here? I mean, like, this isn't the critical turn, I don't think, to counter. We want that ready, like, a turn from now. Because we could always, like, just go to Deuce, so that's probably fine. Do we want Soaring City? Or, we probably want Soaring City more than Iganjo here. Do we care about Duelist? Yeah, Duelist is kind of annoying. I guess we can try to milk this Sunfall a little bit more. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess let's just stop it. I think this is not the combo deck. This is more of just the uh, kind of mid-rangey deck. I could be wrong, but I think this is more of just like a mid-range value deck. Okay, a little bit more card draw, sure. So I think we probably do want to try to Sunfall here. Back to Punisher. Sure. I don't think we care. I think we just want to make sure they don't counter our Sunfall. I know there's a lot we, that we can do about that, but. Yeah, I think we go for the Sunfall, and if they counter it, then we either make another 2-2 or pump this guy. And, like, we could try to attack first, I suppose, but I kind of want to know whether this is going to go through or not. Strategy number two, we can just march that for one, right? Seems pretty good. I think we just hold the three steps ahead here and just sort of take it slow. We could start beating in with our 4-4, but I do want to hold up a counter. Back, do we care? Uh, I mean, we sort of care. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, I think we. I think we can counter that. If they want to fight over it. It's fine. Like this looter. Okay, sure. Hmm. 
they can make it into a Kirvik. Yeah, I think that's okay. Not super worried about that. I think we can also start beating in with our 4 4. And then we've got Memory Deluge or another Wandering Emperor if they kill ours. Lots of options. Sure. Yeah, I think we just let that happen. I guess we could block with our 2-3 if we really care. Question is, do we care? Yeah, I guess it's worth keeping our Wandering Emperor here. Um, I kind of want to just Memory Deluge, though. I don't think I actually care, honestly. Back to Wandering. Like, we've got lethal on board, so we're feeling pretty good. March is really good here. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, and they're Kirvik. I guess it's technically only a two. So we can, we can march it out of existence, I suppose. Yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. I think it's technically a three. So they get to get two of our creatures, which is super annoying. But they're still like dead on board next turn if they draw nothing. Yeah, that'll work. Kind of a cool combo deck. Trying to really squeak every last last uh, drop of usefulness out of Kirvik. Five and two. I will say this deck doesn't face like a ton of pressure. It is pretty tenacious. Yeah, opening hand looks fine. We've got lockdown here, we just need another land. And it runs 28 lands, so it's a pretty decent chance we draw land. pretty much counter anything they play here. I suppose we could have let it happen and then just lock down, but I think I just want to like try to get more of their hand onto the table.
We could also counter that. Yeah, I think slowing them down here actually does make sense. Like, we could also lock down, I suppose, and just, like, sort of let that happen. But then they've got four cards in hand. I think I just know more lives here. Force them to commit a bit more to the to the board. Sure. We could lock down here also, but I kind of like getting Wandering Emperor going. Hmm. Actually, maybe we just lock down here. This is a decent turn to lock down. Breaker, no thank you. I think we just counter that. I suppose alternatively we could get Wandering Emperor going. Hmm. See, if we get Wandering Emperor, we like make a 2 2. They need to have Monstrous Rage to get through. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna counter here, play it safe. Then I can march that Kumano. Just keeping like the board super clean against them feels really important. Yeah, I think they finally ran out of threats. So this feels really good. Whew. Like, I know Mono Red because I piloted it so often. Like, if they don't have threats on the board, they just. It's much harder to win. Six and one. Can we make it final boss for the trophy? Or six and two, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it looks great. Interaction, lots of stuff to do. Okay, if this is a Boros deck, it's probably mono red, but if it's Boros, I definitely want to hold March up here. Although it does suck because then we, this is a tapped land. Oof. Like if it's Boros, it's way more important to have March. If it's mono red, I guess we can get this going and take a little bit of heat. It's probably mono red based on the way they're they're playing. Yeah. Okay, well they were doing a setup turn, so that's actually fine for us. Um, I think we actually want to counter that probably. They can still like play that and double spell. We take some damage, but then we can march it afterwards. 
I think we I think we normalize this. Like we allow them to play out their slick shot, get a little bit of damage in, and then march it. Okay, I mean they did a lot of damage. Okay, so now I think we play Mirix, use the Mirix to march for No More Lies to get rid of this main phase so we still have a No More Lies backup. It is going to blow a lot of resources here, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, we need access to double blue pretty badly. I think we let that happen. It's like the creatures that matter. I mean, like lightning strike definitely isn't fun, but I think we allow it. Although I suppose we could just counter that. <sighs> like if we want us if we know we want a deluge next turn, like there is a chance we just die to burn if we don't counter this. So if we won't have mana next turn, so I guess we do it now. Um, I guess we can also fam interference this. Yes, we get to Deluge. This is awesome. <sighs> kind of a rough Deluge, though. Um, definitely want to get an Anchorage here. Do we want Odawara? Guess we have March. Yeah, I think Odawara backup is still feels decent. Okay, now is there any reason we need six mana? I don't think so. Because we can like, no more lies, no more lies. Actually, we don't have all the, the color sources. We could take another blue. Although I think no more lies plus March is probably good enough. So getting Anchorage down feels okay. I guess we'll just make a token. And now we just plan to deluge end of turn. Do the slow burn to 10 poison. I think we let that one sail through. kind of curious how much burn they have in their hand like that one turn that we did the march and hold up the counter like that was crucial i think i 
don't think they have nine points of burn in their hand. Like they might have like close, but not nine points. Okay, definitely getting Emperor. Probably three steps ahead. Yeah, another hard counter feels good. You don't have a cheap counter though. Or just like more land. Nah, this is fine. Now I think we play the Odawara because we've got March. We just want more land. I don't think we start bashing in with Anchorage yet, though. We want to kind of slow it down just a little bit. Swift Spear, we can march that, so I'm not super worried about it. And now I think we just march it in response. We could also hard counter here. And then like create a token of our might, I suppose. Yeah, I think I just march here. Just keep mana up. Let's get Emperor going. And we can still hold up a counter spell, right? Actually, not quite. That's too bad. They can burn out the Emperor, but if they do, that's all right. Run away. You'll be safer. We could also just exile this Might just to go up to 11, which I think might not be the craziest idea. Mm. Nah, I think I just want a bash phase here. We've got a couple counters in hand. Let your friends do the talking. Plus March. Definitely think we hold up counters here though. Yeah, we definitely want like a couple layers of counters just for their burn. Play with fire on face. I think we actually hard counter that. Do we want to spend six mana on it, though? Yeah, because we'll still have a No More Lies up, so I think that's actually okay. Well, that's eight mana. I think I'll spend six. And that shortens the clock too. Plus if they manage to sneak something through, we can just use 
Wandering Emperor to gain life off of this Phyrexian Might. Okay, do we move in for the kill? I mean, we're pushing over two turns. I guess we could, if we bring in Anchorage, we've got three, six, seven, nine. Yeah, not quite. slowly does it i think we just hold up everything and just um let's see if we spend three four yeah let's just hold everything up here take it slow I think they just probably just drew too much land. Like we counter the important things. Ancestral anger. We could march that in response. I think I'm just gonna do that. And that should do it. Got there. <laughs> it was long and very arduous and like glacially slow, but we trophied. 7 2. So, yeah, I think this deck is the real deal. Um, all the counters are super sweet, actually. I really enjoyed it. There's the sweet uh, prizes, and we will see you in the next one. So, yeah, this is a fun list. Um, not my normal cup of tea, but that's okay. All right, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Mm -hmm.